Hey everyone, so I'm gonna be sharing with you folks a bunch of products that I picked up from eBay. It's a bunch of like high-end products that I got for super duper cheap. Um, mainly because I want them on a bid. Now I recently discovered eBay, like growing up, I always thought of eBay as like this used site where people sell their used items. Um, but I recently started like browsing on their site and I saw like so much makeup there that were brand new in boxes. Um, I will say like sometimes it is a little sketchy to order makeup products from a site like that, but I always checked reviews and then when the product came in before using it, like I tried to like make sure that it didn't look open or swatched. Um, and most times they aren't. It will say inside of the description like if a product has been swatched or if it has been opened. Um, there's a lot of times where they post pictures of like the wand outside of the product. I won't buy those just because um, I know they lifted it out. Like when I look at a lip product, I like to see the top part clean. Now these aren't going to be clean because I haven't been playing around with them for a while. Um, some of this stuff I picked up like a month ago and it's just been like saving everything up. And then I was like, I'm just going to do one big haul video for you folks. So I finally received majority of all the products that I ordered are like won because like you have to bid some of them I did get from like buy now if you're not familiar with eBay um you can either buy now or um place a bid into an auction um like I was like hardcore bidder like I would watch and like five minutes before the bid would end I would sit there to see how it would go up to try and like compete because I'm gonna leave like in the bottom part somewhere on the screen how much I paid and then the retail value like if I was to get it from Sephora or from wherever they sell this item that way you and I both can kind of see how much I saved some of it I didn't save but I don't know if it's in here or not because some of them I bought like it was more expensive than retail but they were sold out like on the actual site so that's why I went to eBay to get it so some of it I did spend a little over the retail value but I couldn't help myself I just really really wanted that product but anyway, yeah, if you want to see the products that I picked up from eBay, then just keep watching. Okay, so I really don't even know where to start. I'm just gonna like, in no particular order, just grab them out of the box. So the first thing I see here is gonna be a Lorac Pro palette. Um, how do you open this? Here we go. Here we go. No, really though. How do you open this? Okay. Hallelujah. Okay. So in here comes the 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 Lorac eyeshadow primer, like a little deluxe sample. I've never tried anything from Lorac before, so I'm pretty excited. And then the Laroque Pro palette. I heard mixed reviews about this palette. Some people say it's really, really good and others say it's not that great. So um, I decided to pick it up for myself so I can kind of test it out. I think these shades are so pretty, especially this one here, Garnet and Slate. Um, this one here too is really pretty gold. I just think this is a really nice palette and I feel like I'm trying to like increase my eyeshadow collection so I'm definitely excited about this. The next product is gonna be a brush set. Now this is like a really cheapy brush set. I don't even know I didn't even know it was gonna come inside of this case. Um but it's a black and white I I mean a black and white brush set. Um I got this mainly to kind of just like display on top of my makeup vanity that vanity I cannot speak mainly just to display my makeup vanity you guys all know I love a black and white so I figured this would be like a really cute brush set to just kind of like you know put in a coffee cup and then display I mean maybe I'll use it maybe I won't I don't know we'll see they are like just a cheapy set from eBay Okay, so here's the brush set here. I think it's so cute. Like, it's hard to find, like, black and white brushes. So when I saw it, I was like, okay, I have to get it. And it's, like, small, so I think it'll sit nicely, like, in a coffee cup or something on top of my vanity. Okay, 
The next product is going to be a NARS lipstick. Now this packaging is the same packaging that I have in one of their products. So I was like kind of sold by the packaging. But then the color is really pretty as well. I just love NARS lipsticks packaging. Like I think it's so chic and cute. Um, this is in the shade Femme Fleur. Just like a really deep lipstick. This is going to be my first NARS lipstick, so I really don't know the pigmentation. Um, it's not very pigmented. I'd say it's more like a wash of color, almost like a lip balm, kind of like a tinted lip balm. Um, it's a really pretty shade nonetheless, though, so I'm excited about that. Then I got two Laura Couture Shine Nudes Duo. I'm assuming this is um, a liquid like a lip gloss but it says liquid lipstick here but I was super excited about this shade right here I think it's so flippin pretty oh my gosh you guys all know I love my nudes so it is right there it's just a really 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 glossy lip I think it's so pretty and then that was in the shade vintage and then here's another one. This is in the shade of Muse. It's not a doe foot applicator. It's like almost like a brush applicator. I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of like a messy to apply, but there it is there. I'm just so excited about that nude color. I love, 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 love nudes. Next, I got another one of the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Foundation. This is in the shade 110 Honey Beige. For some reason, I can't find 110 Honey Beige at my local drugstores or on the Ulta website. Like, they sell a bunch of different shades, but not 110. So, when I saw it, I picked it, I picked it up. Then I got a Kevin Aquan Lip Liner. Like, this is, again, my first Kevin Aquan product. Um, I just love this shade. This is in the shade Minimal. So it's in the shade Minimal. I just broke the tip, but it's okay. We will survive. It's a really deep and burgundy shade. It's right here. Oh, it's so pretty. It's almost the same shade as the pencil, but it's the shade here. So pretty. It's very, very creamy and pigmented. Um, the only problem I had was with the cover. Like, I had such a hard time removing the cover. And that's why I broke the pencil. Really pretty nonetheless. Then I got a Becca Ultra Color Gloss. It's actually what I'm wearing on my lips now. I have a NYX lip liner underneath. It's very like cool tone and I'm not very much of a cool tone person. But um, I love Becca's packaging. Like the lip gloss has that, that, that silver Becca... You know what I mean? Like, their highlighters have the same packaging. I don't even know how to describe it. But like I said, I have it on my lips now. It's a very, like, nudie brown. It's very, like, cool tone. There it is there. So I have it on top of my lips now with a NYX lip liner. I'm not too sure the shade of the lip liner, but I'll leave it down in the description box below. Next, I got another Urban Decay gloss. You guys know I love the Urban Decay glosses. Like, I had them in my favorites before. And I have, and I have another shade called Liar, which is very, very, very similar to this. But I picked up Kinky. This one's like almost a little bit more brown nude than Liar. I feel like Liar is a little bit more pinky. But these glosses are so pigmented and very, very sticky. Um, so if you don't like either of those, it's almost like a liquid lipstick. There it is there. Like I said, it's a little bit more brown than Liar. So if you, if you think this is like too brown for you, then you might want to check out Liar, but oh, I love this lip gloss. Next, I picked up a YSL Touche Eclat Concealer. Um, I have one already, but I just want to get a lighter one. This is in the shade 1. It has a brush applicator, and then you just click it here to pump out the product. But like I said, I have one of these, and I liked it. I just... Ooh. I have one of these. I have one of these, but like I said, I just wanted to pick it up in another shade. 
Then I got a Marc Jacobs lip gloss. Now this one didn't come in a box, but um, I made sure that when you opened it, that it, the top part was clean so I know it wasn't used. Um, I think it was Desi Perkins who said that she loves Marc Jacobs lip glosses because it's so, so glossy. And I have been loving a glossy lip lately. And she even said in her video that it's not pigmented, which it ain't. But it just has such a high gloss payoff that I love it. Super pretty and I'm excited about that. I don't know, like, oh wow. It's very, very minty. Like it smells like, like Andy's chocolate. Um, I don't know how I feel about the shade. I mean, it's like an okay shade. Here it is here. It kind of matches this lip liner. Like it would be nice on top of each other. Um, but this is the only shade that I saw for cheap. So I picked it up, but. Oh yeah, that's a nice combo. Yeah, that's really pretty. So I got that. Okay, so the next thing was kind of like a dumb purchase and I didn't fully like read everything. <laughs> I just kind of saw the shade and was like, yes, like, do you see the shade? But anyway, it was said in the description, not the title, that this was a travel size. If it was a travel size, I definitely wouldn't have purchased it. Um, it was really expensive for travel size. I thought it was a full size item, but it's such a pretty shade that I was like, yes, give it to me. Like, I didn't even, like, bother to fully read everything. Um, but yeah. Again, just a really nice nudie shade. Pink nudie shade. Can you tell what kind of shades I like? And then this one has like a weird like applicator. But I'm okay with it, I guess. And this one has like plumping effects, so... Hopefully my hand doesn't start burning or tingling. But here's going to be this glossy type of product. And then this is the lipstick. Super pretty. Ooh. Looks like I got another Urban Decay lip gloss. Oh yeah, that's right. This is in the shade 69. I forgot that I got this. Um, I've been loving a red lip lately, but I wanted a glossy red lip, so that's why I picked this up. Yes. It's more like a blue red than red, but I think, but I think over a red lip, it look really pretty. So it's there, it's like a blue red. So pretty. Here's one of the products that I overpaid, but um, one of my friends here on YouTube, Makeup by Shay, she mentioned um, that she liked the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks more than Kat Von D, and she loves Kat Von D, so I definitely knew I had to try it out. I got it in the shade Dominatrix. It's probably one of the few shades that I would have that I would wear. Um, there's only like a couple shades that I think I would wear, but. This is definitely one of it. I don't have anything like it, like anything at all. Like, it's truly unlike any other. It's like just a deep brown. I think it's so pretty. Um, it's very pigmented and the formula is really, really amazing. I hope this doesn't stain my hand because it's super dark, but look at that. Ugh. It's almost like a purple brown. It's just so pretty. So if they ever come back in stock, like on the website, I definitely will pick up more, um, mainly because of the formula and like, come on. Um, but I don't know if there's like any shades that I die hard, die hard, die hard need, die hard need, die hard need. So I'm not going to spend like a ridiculous amount on eBay. I'm just going to wait till they come back in stock at Jeffree Star's website. Next, I got a Buxom full-on lip cream. Now, there's a look, lip cream and a lip polish. This is in the shade... Creme Perlesse. Wait, I forget what shade this is in, but I'll leave it on the screen. Um, Jaclyn Hill mentioned this in one of her favorites like a while ago. 
and she just said how cooling it is and how glossy it is and I just felt like I had to get it there it is there you can't really see it because it's basically like a clear gloss but it's just really really glossy looking and I think it's so pretty can you see my whole hand is like glossing glossing glistening <laughs> And I got another one. This is the Buxom Full On Lip Polish. So the other one is a lip cream. This is a lip polish. This is by Maddie. I mean, this is in the shade Maddie. It's a like orangey, shimmery. There's lots of like gold reflex in it. Yeah, there it is there. It's just a really nice orangey shade. I thought this would be perfect for spring and summer. It almost looks copper. Like copper super pretty then I got another eyeshadow palette this is nude Tude by the bomb the bomb has a bunch of different eyeshadow palettes and I couldn't decide which one to get I think I got another one in here uh, but this is the first one that I grabbed out of the box so this is nude Tude. Um, the reason why I picked it up was because of this shade right here sexy like a purple maroon type of shade super super pretty um yeah but I can't wait to be doing looks I think I might do like a look just using this palette a look just using the Lorac palette like just doing like eyeshadow looks just using that full palette that way if you folks have this palette or want to pick up the palette then you can do a full look using it um but and I thought that this had a really nice range of like mattes and shimmers so you can really do a full look with just this palette oh my god this jeffree star liquid lipstick is drying so nicely next i picked up the lime crime glitter helper now i know there was like a whole big scandal with lime crime but um, i picked it up from ebay so this is kind of safe um i don't know how i feel about it it's okay it's nothing too special but and then I picked up Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Um, someone here recommended this eyeshadow primer to me. It's an anti-crease eyeshadow primer. I have really creasy lids, so I'm really hoping that this helps. Um, let's see if it has any color. I have been using it, but I couldn't remember. Oh yeah, that's right. It's kind of like a light light shade it almost looks like the shade of the concealer that i use and then the lime crime glitter glue glitter helper helper is actually white it's like a clear white so it comes out white there it is here and then it just blends out clear next i picked up two more nyx intense butter glosses um, I have been loving these butter glosses lately. Um, the first shade I got is Cookie Butter. I don't think I have these two shades, but I didn't even check. I just saw it and was like, yeah, it's like both of these shades. Like, my biggest problem is when I buy duels, is like I might like one shade but not the other. Or I might like two shades and not the other. But this one, I loved both. And I just love the smell of the NYX Butter Gloss. Like, I just want to eat it. But there it is there. Can you even see that? Whatever. <laughs> and then the second shade I got is Cranberry Pa. This is a long video. Fideo. Um, again, another true red. I have, I don't have much glossy reds. I have like matte reds, but not a glossy red, which is why I wanted to pick it up. It's like a deeper red than the one we swatched earlier, 69 from Urban Decay. And it's a lot more pigmented. Like, look at that. Like, bam. I got lots of lip products. And then I got one more lip product. This is by Kat Von D. This is her lipstick in the shade Magic. Again, just a pretty, pretty nude shade. This is my first Kat Von D lipstick. Oh, it's just so pretty. I think I need more. And it's so creamy and pigmented. I love it. Oh, wow. I love it. So that it is there to bottom. And then I picked up brushes from the Sephora line. Um, I did 
post a video, no, a picture on Instagram of like my brushes and someone asked if one of the brushes or two of the brushes that I had in my collection is still available on the Sephora website and they were these like silver handle brushes um, and they're not available on the Sephora website but there was so much on eBay like I got all these brushes because I want to like put this in a cup another cup I have all these like ideas in my head of how I want to set up my vanity but I just want to put all these brushes with this like silver handles in a cup and then kind of just display it I actually have this one already this is the Sephora brush 55 now they do sell majority of these brushes still at Sephora but with a black handle not this silver handle so I have this one this is 55 and then I have an angled one I couldn't find that angle ones online but it's okay because I found all of these then I found this one this is the 41 it's just a really big like look at it compared to my face like it's a huge brush oh it's gonna dust it on top of my hand um it's so soft it's not the same bristles as these three as these three brushes but I bought a dual fiber this one here and I was like well if I'm gonna buy dual fiber and put it in the cup with these brushes then why can't I buy this one and this one was super cheap too I'll leave like I said I'll leave how much I paid for all these products on the screen somewhere um but it's so pretty like it's so big and like I don't know what you would use this for like maybe setting your whole face or something I don't know but it's huge and it's so so pretty and then I got a dual fiber this is the 44 I love dual fiber brushes I just feel like it just blends everything out like really nicely um, a lot of people don't know what to do with their dual fiber brushes it also packs on blush really nice because a dual fiber doesn't pick up as much product but yeah so I got this one and then I got this one is this is a number 47 brush I feel like I have been really into like placing my foundation on like with a brush and then blending it out with a beauty blender or a brush so I thought I'd pick up another foundation brush and it's big so you can just like easily swipe like the ones that I have now they're tiny so I need to like go like this like on top of my entire face it's so I can just like sweep it and then this one I thought would be like a perfect bronzing brush this is in 50 um like as you can see it's like flat like it flats out so I really like this type of brushes to just like bronze up my face um this is similar to the 55 so this is 50 this is 55 the only thing is as you can see like the 55 is fluffier this one is like flat this one is like fluffy so I got both but I'm just really excited to just like put this inside of a cup where all these brushes match and I never thought I would have this much Sephora brushes but like I said they were super cheap well cheap compared to like their normal pricing but not like super cheap as in like compared to elf or coastal sets but um so I'm so excited and I feel like these are like real quality brushes um like I said so I have 55 and then I have an angled brush and those brushes has been has been with me for like the past five or six years and it's still holding up strong it definitely changed color like the bristles but like you can't help that that just comes with the age of the brush but still yeah it's like still hanging on for like Hang it, well it's not really hanging on for dear life it's still going strong um and like I said so that's why I thought I'd pick up more from this line anyway so I got two Tokidoki eyeshadows like I never had Tokidoki eyeshadows before but I was just sold by the packaging one and then the price again um these I think I'd be like three bucks um, I don't know how much Tokidoki like usually runs for but I was like three dollars like come on so I got one blue and one green. Like this packaging is just so flippin' cute. I thought this would just be really cute to display like on my vanity. Um, but it's just a really small eyeshadow there. This is in the shade Bastard pa Bastardino. It has it's like a glittery shade. It has some gold glitter in there. And then this is in Skeletrina. These are some wacky names, just kidding. Um, so this is like a blue, like a mm, purple blue, but super cute. I just love, love, love the packaging. I'm a sucker when it comes to packaging. 
and I've been really into green lately. I've been wanting to do like a green look. So I picked up a Urban Decay single eyeshadow in Bender. Just like a really dark emerald green. Um, it has some gold reflex in there. I think the one from Tokidoki is lighter. Yeah. So here's Tokidoki and then here's the Urban Decay. Um, these are my first shadows from both of these brands. But, yeah. Then I got a NARS eyeshadow trio, I think. Yeah, trio. Here we go. I don't really care for the sh colors of these shadows. I just thought it was super cheap and you can't go wrong with NARS products. I feel like NARS products are just super amazing. It actually looks really bland on camera. <laughs> But I don't know, like I said, it was cheap, so I picked it up. Um, I don't think I could use this for like a full eye look. This is like a grayish shade, and this is almost has some glitter. This is the only, these, mm, this looks matte for sure. This is like gold reflex, and this almost looks matte, but has like a little glisten into it. But like I said, like I didn't pick it up really for, um, the shade just more so that it's NARS and it was cheap and I wanted to try out NARS eyeshadows. Then I got another bomb eyeshadow palette. This is um, Meet Matt Nude. Um, Casey Holmes was talking about another Meet Matt palette and I thought it was this one but then I went back and I was like oh this is not it but that's okay because this is still a really nice palette. So, oh my gosh, it's cracked. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I'm so sad right now. Like, can you see this? This palette is destroyed. Yeah, this is why you should probably look at your products before you do a video. <laughs> Oh my god, I was so sad. And I was really excited because it was an all matte palette. And then, and then, and then, and then, this is like the grand, not the grand finale because I have a few more, but this is like the grand marshal because I was super excited about this find. It's the Gavon Lige like eye palette. I have been wanting this palette for forever, but I was just like, you know, I don't wear eyeshadow out of the house, so personally, like, I couldn't justify spending 40 bucks on an eyeshadow palette, um, but when I found it on eBay for super duper cheap, I was like, okay, you are mine. So I'm so excited. I'm going to be doing definite, I'm definitely going to be doing an eyeshadow tutorial on this palette, using this palette. Um, so stay tuned for that because I'm super excited because of this shade here, because of this shade here, because of this shade here, because let's just say because of this whole palette. Like, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. It looks like they're, it is all matte. So I guess this makes up for my ruined Beat the Bomb Meat and Matte Nudes palette. Because it's pretty much the same shades. But anyway. And then I picked up one foundation. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Now they have a sheer matte and a sheer glow. And even though I'm oily skin, like I still love a dewy glowy foundation. So that's why I picked it up instead of picking up the matte. I definitely want to pick up the matte too. But it's like just a matter of finding it cheap. And then in my shade, um, I got Tahoe. I used this a few times. It looks kind of dark now and orangey compared to my skin tone now. But it does match nicely once I go in and apply all my other products. So I like it. Um, it's definitely sheer. When it says sheer, like it's definitely sheer. It's buildable, but I double my foundation. So like I always use my Neutrogena. I always use my Neutrogena Skin Clearing first just because it helps with acne. So I feel like it's almost like a coating or like a barrier from any other products I put on it. I know it's not, but in my head it is. So I always like double up. So 
I will go in with this first and then I'll put this next and it just has a really nice dewy effect to it like I said it's definitely sheer so it's more like a tinted moisturizer but it could build up to medium coverage um I don't know like this is kind of an older foundation but if you want me to do like a full review on this foundation only um let me know in the comment section like I don't know I kind of watched videos in order to decide if I wanted the sheer matte or sheer glow um so that's why I picked this one but if you want me to do a tutorial or a review just on this foundation let me know in the comment section and so that's all the makeup products and I picked up three colognes yes three um people always ask if I wear colognes or perfume it's kind of like a combination of both I like perfumes that don't smell like too womanly or like too girly um I have a couple but for the most part I do wear colognes so I picked up the picked up three so the first one I picked up is going to be Burberry Brit Rhythm. Um, I have been eyeing this out. Okay, and there's another thing. Like, I don't know how scents work on top of eBay because this is tester not for sale. So, like, do people steal testers and then sell them on eBay? Or, like, how does testers leave the store and how do they get listed on eBay? Um, anyway, there's a Burberry Brit that's pretty much the same bottle but then there's a Burberry Brit Rhythm. The Rhythm personally smells a lot more younger than the Burberry Brit. I still feel like it smells like an old man but it smells like a younger old man. Um, I absolutely love it. I think out of all three this is probably no yeah this is probably my favorite out of the three it picked up but like I said it still smells like an old man like I don't know if that's kind of sense you're into for your man or for whatever, but if you get a chance, if you're at a store that sells cologne, definitely try smelling the Burberry Brit. I think it smells really, really, really nice. And again, these colognes, like, were really cheap too, which is why I picked it up. The next one I picked up is a Lacoste Blanc. Um, there's a bunch of different scents that... that Lacoste makes but I picked up Blanc because I feel like it smells the most young <laughs> like I said it still smells like an old man how the box smells like the cologne too um how I found this scent is actually because you know when Sephora gives you little samplers gives you little samplers in your order one of the scents was this and I smelled it and I was like yes like like okay like age wise this smells the youngest out of the three that I picked up and Burberry Brit smells like an old man but like I said I like that kind of smell I don't know but if you like a younger smell try smelling this one compared to this but whatever whatever and then the last one I picked up is Hollister Jake um I used to use this like every single day this was like my everyday cologne like three four years ago five years ago five years ago um when I lived in Oahu and had a Hollister where I could like pick up a refill bottle um from the Hollister side I think it's like 40 bucks and I just don't remember paying 40 dollars before because I was poor so I don't even know how I could afford 40 dollars but anyway so I found one on eBay and so I decided to pick it up. And that's going to be it. That's going to be all the products that I picked up from eBay. Thank you for hanging in there. If you made it all the, t all the way to the end, then high five. Um, thank you for watching. Um, if you want, if you have any questions or if you want to see a dedicated video to any of these products that I showed in this haul, leave me a comment because I'm don't know what kind of videos like to do a dedicated review on so if there's any of the products then let me know the eyeshadow palettes I definitely will be doing looks just using the palette so stay tuned for those I don't know when but hopefully sometime soon but anyway yeah that's gonna be it if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Click subscribe before you leave. Stick around for more videos. And until next time, bye.